everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch used canvas and I had a lot of leftover paints and um, I used those as my base coat and as you can see it turned out to be a real pretty smoky plum color. So I put that on yesterday and I let it dry so that's going to be my base coat and today I'm just going to do a simple um, flip and drag and possible flip drag and lip we'll just have to see and if I get um, some negative space that's fine because I really do like this uh, smoky plum color so let's go over my paints I'm using mostly Arteza today first one is Arteza electric blue my next paint is Arteza lime green it's pearl lime green the next one is Arteza Iridescent Electric Plum Purple. And the next one is the Arteza Iridescent Glowing Peach. Pretty color. The next one is Arteza Playful Pink. Now this looks white, but it does have a shimmer of pink to it. My next color is the Arteza Royal Purple. My next color is a combination of, I'm sorry, the last color was the Royal Purple, but I did add a squirt of the Amsterdam um, Pearl Red to that, just to lighten it up. And then my last color is the Arteza Iridescent Fancy Black. So what I'm going to do is just fill three cups and then give them a flip. So let's get started here. I think I'll just put the, the pearlescent pink at the bottom of all my colors because that will come out last. And this is probably, if you wanted to fast forward at all, this is probably the part in the video you could fast forward. I'm just going to be filling these cups here. And I am filling them on the side. I'm trying to make it a little different here and there. And it was a, I wasn't sure I wanted to use the black, <clears throat> but decided I'll put some black in there today. Hopefully it'll play well with the other colors. And I hope you are all having a good day today. It's Monday, new week. Oh, and let's go over my pouring medium. I did forget that. It's a kind of different pouring medium today than my usual. It's three parts Floetrol, three parts Minwax Polyacrylic, and two parts of a glue mixture, which is glue and water. Uh, the glue is three parts and the water is one part. So I added about two parts of that pouring medium to one part of paint here today. And no silicone added. I'm not really looking for cells today. If, and if I would get any, it would probably be from the Floetrol. And some people claim, too, that the metallics give cells. I'm not, I'm not real sure on that. I guess I've never really paid that close of attention to it to, uh, to make that decision. And that's the last of that pink pearlescent color there.
a lot of shiny colors going on here today. I do really like the Arteza paints. A few of my paints I did have to thin also. And what I thin with is a combination of 90% water, 10% float troll. And I, they are on the thinner side today because I did want them to blend together real well, so. Looks like I've kind of ignored this last cup here. So I'm gonna try and get it up to the, the level of the other two cups. It's looking a little better. Flip and drags are fun to do. Just been practicing with different pouring mediums lately too. That's kind of fun to do and I do find that uh, when there's glue in the pouring medium they tend to dry shinier. Okay that's all my paints. So now I'm just going to uh, Flip my cups over here. Give them a few seconds to settle. Let the paint settle. It's like I'll have plenty of paint here today. Okay, I'm just going to drag it. See what we get? A lot of shine going on there. Again, now that one, that cup's quite a bit lighter. Very pretty. Blues and greens in that middle one. And that cup is a little bit lighter too. Should be interesting. And I think I will give it a little torch here first before I start tipping them. And I may want to lip it just a little bit here. I'm going to just lightly lip it with my cup. You don't have to get all the way down to the canvas with it. Just kind of breaks up some of those colors. Okay like that a little better. And we can just start our tipping now. No particular order at all. There is quite a bit of paint on here. And I hope you can see most of the tipping. This is a little bit bigger canvas, so if you miss part of it from camera work, I apologize.
just kind of tipping it back and forth see what I can bring up here I am really loving those uh, light colors in the middle here I'm gonna tip some off this corner and bring it back and I'm going to tip some of that black off down in that this corner here I want to keep some but I'm gonna tip some off also and bring it back Just going to tip it this way a little bit and down a little. As you can see, I'm trying to get the paint more in the middle there to tip down. And then a little bit to this corner. Okay. And I'm going to bring it back. Okay, that's good. And I just have this one corner left here. And there still is quite a bit of paint on here. It is moving a little slower, but as you can see, I still have paint to, uh, take off the canvas. Okay, turn it this way. Just let it sit here a minute. I'm going to take a look at it. It's very, very pretty. Everything is very muted and shiny. I'm just going to tip a little bit off coming down this way. I want to draw what's at the top down a little bit. And over this way a little bit but I don't want to lose this right here I like that okay pull it back just a little bit And I'm going to take another look at it. And I'm going to do another torch. Checking my sides here. But I really don't have to worry about it because I did have that, that purple base coat down. This is really, really pretty. These colors turned out very nice. Give it another torch here. I'm 
And I'm hoping when this dries, it does dry shiny with all the iridescent colors, the metallics put in. I watched an artist yesterday that said that you need to take your time when torching because what you're doing is just warming up the paint and if there are any cells that are going to come up, it'll take a little while. So just take your time with torching. And I've never thought of it in that way. So, because everybody always says, I'll give it a quick torch. And uh, so I'll just take my time here today and see if it makes a difference. You don't want to scorch your paint, but uh, just be careful when torching. Okay, and I am going to show it composition-wise. I think it would come this way, where this is the top and this is the bottom. And I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And I'm very happy how this turned out. The purples, the pinks, that light green, and the black even played well with everything. Very pretty. This is a very nice area in here. This is going up the middle. Some cute little cells in here popping up with that black. So it's nice in here too with that black line. Very distinct black line there. And I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner where I think it's very pretty in here. And down the right hand side. And this is the lower right hand corner kind of rainbow in here so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it make sure you ring the bell choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video and subscribe if you haven't that would be great and until next time take care everybody bye for now